Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Do you like green tea? I like green tea. Do you know why you like green tea? Do you drink coffee? Well, do you know what the difference between coffee and green tea is? Well, the difference is not caffeine. The caffeine content is one of them, but it's theanine. Green tea has a amino acid in it called theanine, and theanine has many benefits, uh, some of them which I'm going to talk about in this video. And What's really interesting about theanine is it puts your brain in an alpha state, alpha wave state where you can think clear, you are relaxed but alert at the same time. And that's why I like to take L-theanine, which is a, uh, a version I take is called sun-theanine, which is the version that's manufactured of L-theanine. And there's also D-L-theanine, uh, which is the racetamic version of it. But that fights for competitiveness. So L-theanine, its benefits are increased cognitive function, which is pretty awesome. It gives you this calmness. It increases your mood. It uh, lessens anxiety. It also helps with sleep. So they had boys who were ADHD and had them take 400 milligrams for eight weeks. And they had a significant increase in their sleep quality and uh, sleep duration. So they felt more rested after they went to sleep. L-theanine can also help you with your, uh, if you have schizophrenic type of mood swings and schizophrenic types of feelings. Uh, so it's good for that. Um, and you can read more about the benefits of L-theanine and the mechanisms of action uh, in the link below in the, the description, whole post on it and where to get L-theanine. So I hope this was some benefit to you. Uh, if you are making uh, your own type of coffee L-theanine blend, try to do it in a one-to-one -one ratio. So caffeine, uh, one molecule of caffeine to one molecule of L-theanine. So do that in milligrams and it should be pretty equal uh, as a nootropic. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something and stay beautiful.